Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Matt. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the results of the two different types of plot screen that I planted on my food plot last year. On one side, I planted the Northwoods Whitetail blend. On the other side, I planted the Frigid Forage plot screen blend. I think you guys are gonna be surprised by the results. There was a pretty big difference between the two. Stick around to the end of the video because that's where I show what both of those types do under snow load. We got about a foot of snow on them. Pretty cool, pretty different results. If you guys are new to the channel, I ask that you hit that subscribe button. I hope to earn that from you guys with this video. And with that, let's get right into it and take a look. Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be planting plot screen on our new food plot. I'm actually going to be planting two different types. First one I'm going to be planting is this Frigid Forage blend. Uh, this is what the bag looks like right here. And I'm also going to be planting the Northwoods Whitetail blend. You do not want to overseed this or seed it too heavy. I am going to round up my number just slightly though because I do expect some of my seeds to wind up outside of the food plot. Okay, you guys, I just got the last of the Northwoods Whitetail food plot screen planted. I just followed these instructions to a T. I tried to get the seeding rate, fertilizer rate, all that as tight as I can to the instructions. This is what it looks like. This is the red uh, seed. It's uh, just a blend of sorghum. So I'm really excited to see what this stuff does. We got a big rain coming in two nights. And this was a opportunity for me to get this in the ground. I've got almost the whole thing encased in plot screen. Kept them separate. I followed the instructions on the bags for the seed rates. And I'm gonna be checking in with you guys throughout the summer, uh, showing you the growth on them. I'm really excited to compare these two mixes. I'll bring you guys the results this summer. All right, you guys, it's the 4th of July today. We're doing a check-in on the plot screen. This stuff right in front of me that you're seeing is the Frigid Forge blend. Um, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with how this stuff is coming up. There's a lot of sorghum in this, and the only real difference that I can find in the, the Northwoods Whitetail version, or excuse me, the Frigid Forge compared to the Northwoods Whitetail is that the Frigid Forge actually has some Egyptian wheat in it, and whereas the Northwoods Whitetail blend is completely sorghum. A um, couple interesting things here. There are some plants here that are knee high by the 4th of July as the saying goes. So um, that's exciting. I'm impressed by that. The other thing I did do is I, I did fertilize this two times now. Once when I seeded and then once right after it uh, popped up out of the ground. When the, the plants were about this tall, I would say four or five inches tall, I fertilized again. All right, you guys, so this is the Northwoods Whitetail blend of their plot screen. Now, some of these plants are looking really good. Again, there's, oh, I would bet 25% of these are knee high by the 4th of July. Um, this is a look at what we got here. We're on the other side of the plot. Um, my one concern with the Northwoods Whitetail blend is uh, just the, the lower seed rate. So these plants are looking really good. They're looking really healthy. I fertilize these twice as well, um, but there's not as many of them, and that's a direct result of the seeding rate difference between the Frigid Forage blend over there and this Northwoods Whitetail blend right here. So again, I, I think the plants are looking really good, really healthy. I mean, these things seem incredibly sturdy, um, really putting size on right now, but it's just the density of them that I'm a little bit concerned about. All right, you guys, today is October 4th. I'm being a little bit quiet because I am back by the food plot right now, but I wanted to show you the progress on the plot screen back here. Um, this plot screen right here is the Frigid Forge blend, and this is the one that I planted a little bit later on June 10th, and it's done really well. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that um, this Frigid Forge blend is... Uh, a lot more seeds per acre. If you look at the seed rate and then figure out how many actual seeds are going into a given um, unit area, it's a lot more with this frigid forage compared to uh, the Northwoods Whitetail blend. And uh, I'll show you the Northwoods Whitetail blend here in a minute, 
but um, this stuff, both of them, the Frigid Forage and the Northwoods blend, did incredible growth in the month of August. Um, it was actually mid to late August and this stuff was still putting on height and it was really incredible because I was getting a little bit discouraged to be honest um, throughout a lot of the summer as I was watching this stuff grow I was getting um, nervous that it wasn't getting tall enough. Um, this stuff really just needs that late summer on it and it will really get some height on it. So I'm um, looking around right now, this is as high as I can reach, and most of these plants, at least the ones that are tasseled out, most of them are taller than I can reach. Um, I would say that 90 plus percent of the plants are at least head height or taller. And one thing to keep in mind is that I'm in really sandy soils here, you guys, and I'm in northern Minnesota, so these aren't ideal growing conditions for this stuff. Even with my sandy conditions and um, just the part of the country where I'm in, on um, the shorter growing season, I'm really happy with this stuff and the height that it's put on. All right, you guys, the stuff behind me is the Northwoods Whitetail Blend. Um, this stuff got incredibly tall, it's amazing. Um, this stuff I had the same fears with as I did the Frigid Forge Blend this summer, in that it was just growing really slowly. So throughout the month of June and July, it just seemed like this stuff was not going anywhere. And I was actually pretty nervous about it. I figured um, I figured I did something wrong. Turns out in the end I did nothing wrong and that it actually did really well. The whole key here, you guys, is don't get nervous until late August. You need, this stuff needs the whole month of August. So does the frigid forage. And this stuff just put on incredible growth. It was still growing into the month of September. So this is uh, the blend that I would use if you're going for maximum height. Uh, again, if there's a highway embankment up high, a house, a hill, whatever it might be that you're trying to screen off, this stuff put on incredible height, way more so than the Frigid Forage did. Again, keep in mind, I'm in sandy soils here, and where you're at, the characteristics could be a little bit different, but um, by and large, that Frigid Forage blend was on average much, much shorter than the Northwoods Whitetail blend. So the other thing I want to show you guys is the difference in diameter of these trunks between the Northwoods Whitetail Blend and then the Frigid Forage Blend over there. So again, there's a lot fewer stocks per acre on this Northwoods Whitetail Blend, but they're way beefier. These things are super sturdy. Um, these look like corn stocks on the diameter of them. And again, this is the Northwoods Blend right here um, that I'm looking at now. And when you compare this to the stocks on the Frigid Forage blend, huge, huge difference. Um, again, corn stocks here, roughly diameter with the Northwoods Whitetail blend, and that Frigid Forage blend is um, much, much thinner. Now, that doesn't mean that that Frigid Forage blend is not going to stand up throughout the whole fall. Uh, that remains to be seen, but um, big, big difference there in terms of plant um, sturdiness and of course the height is, is way different. This Northwoods Whitetail Blend is, I would say on average this stuff is a good two and a half feet taller, three feet taller than the Frigid Forage Blend. Alright you guys, it's mid-December and doing a final check here on the plot screen. This is the Frigid Forage Blend behind me. As you can see, it's laying down pretty hard. Um, you can see that it, a lot of it has bent over, it's kinked, it's um, broken, and the snow has just sort of drifted up through it and there's only a few remaining stocks standing. Uh, again, this is the Frigid Forge behind me here. We got about a foot and a half of snow. We've had a handful of winter storm events. We actually just had a big one come through here. That's why I thought you guys would be interested in seeing it after a big snowstorm. All right, now I jumped over to the Northwoods Whitetail Blend that you can see behind me. Uh, big difference, you guys. This stuff, again, those big, beefy stalks have held up. It's incredible. We've had some high winds. We've had two different ice storms this fall or slash early winter, and most of these stalks are still standing. It's amazing. Um, this stuff might stand the whole winter. I don't know, but we've had... Uh, this this pretty bad storm just rolled through within the last couple days and these stocks are standing strong it's pretty amazing if you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel that helps me out a lot I hope this video helped you guys and we'll 
assist in your upcoming food plot endeavors. Have fun out there. Good luck. Any questions, drop them down below in the chat. And until next time, you guys, take care.